back here the same lagoon as you know um, I'm staying this night probably tomorrow as well in uh, this hut here <laughs> it's uh, yeah it's only four dollars a night and um, but it's uh, it's quite cool um, I'm gonna show you this oh, geez. So this is going to be my room. And so I've got kitchen and everything here to cook. As you see, the weather is uh, not good. <laughs> it is bad. It is now it's raining a little and it's really cold. But um yeah, um, I, I hope it, uh, it's going to get better, but it should get better. And uh, yeah, now I think I'm just gonna chill here around, eat something. There's not a lot I can do right now. I'll maybe take some picture with this, this moody weather here. Could be nice as well. Yeah, well then. It's actually a pretty cool frame here. I like it, man. Looks cool. It's extremely cold here. And uh, I'm not sure how good I'm going to sleep by this temper temperature. At least I had some nice company. Three guys here from Ecuador. We had a good talk here. So uh, yeah, it was a nice evening. Now I really need to get under this, under my sleeping bag because I'm, I'm freezing here. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. So I decided to go back to Cuenca because um, the weather is just not doing so well and uh, so I think I'm coming back here tomorrow so you see how cold it is <laughs> oh hell man <laughs> but the night was cool actually it was uh, not so bad my sleeping bag is really good <laughs> so um, perfect conditions actually for my sleeping bag I didn't feel any cold in the night so well then, let's go back to Cuenca. Let's go. And again, going back to Cajas. This time I really hope the weather will uh, stay good. Please, it has to be good. Could you hold me tight? Could you hold me tight? So here I am back home and it's freezing cold <laughs> as usual. So this is my new room here. What 
the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cozy, not? Yeah, and of course it's bitter cold here. Um, for four time back in Cajas, now I really am going to stay here and I'm not going back to Cuenca until I have all my pictures I wanted to take here. And yeah, but the weather conditions for tomorrow is still bad to go up to the to the San Luis Cerro. But I think I'm still going to wake up here early. Uh, maybe I'm going to be lucky. <laughs> Would be nice, yeah. And then tomorrow I'm going to start uh, the trekking around here. It's uh, Route 8 I'm going to take. It's not really long, actually. I, I checked it up, but it's only 21 kilometers. But uh, I think I'm going to do it in two days or two nights, three days, something like this. I think. Yeah. If I if I can't go to the top of uh, Cerro San Luis, then uh, maybe when uh, after the trekking there is uh, better conditions, better lightning to get up there in the early morning. Yeah. <laughs> Not just chilling around here in this ice cold weather. <laughs> getting something to eat and prepare for tomorrow um, I hope I will wake up tomorrow early for the for the sunrise and um, if it's not good well in any case I think tomorrow I'm going to uh, begin with the with the bigger hike where I have to camp then in my tent so then good night So to get to the start of this trekking I had to walk along the street for about a kilometer. Um, not really cool but of course because a lot of trucks uh, driving by. Uh, look just this is literally this is here the entrance you see there's not even a, a parking or something it's just next to the street and there there goes my way. You see this? Yeah, well, but um, at least after about one week in Cuenca and uh, four times I traveled here, I'm now finally on my way here. I had a couple of drinks before I left today morning with the park ranches there, so I'm finally here and I'm drunk. 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited, so uh, let's get it started. Let's go. Forever young, or am I faking on the tip of my tongue? There's a sarcasm waiting for you. Well, uh, finally I found a, a place to camp here. Um, my home is uh, already set up. And yeah, well, this, uh, this trail is, is difficult. Yeah. It looks like uh, there's not a lot of people uh, walking this trail. Because sometimes it's like uh, not really clear where the, where the trail goes on. And then there's a problem problem with the with the mud everywhere. <laughs> it's really difficult to walk in this. And then of course my backpack is heavy again, not as heavy as in uh, uh, for the Santa Cruz, but still it makes it really difficult to walk. Um, but still the nature is just beautiful here, and uh, I'm excited to be here. Well then. Uh, I'm expecting a very cold night, like every night here, and uh, yeah, now for the rest of the day just chilling around and uh, yeah, taking pictures. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think it's um, it's a little difficult to uh, uh, to photograph like uh, moody situations like like almost every day here <laughs> and um, but but I like it. it it's something new for me you know and uh, so I really hope that they're going to be good oh yeah I kind of like how dark they are. So, uh, I'm back in my home. <laughs> well, uh, it was a cool day. The hike is difficult here. So, um, I'm a little worried about tomorrow because tomorrow it's going to be, uh, yeah, about the double of today. Um, so, I think it's going to be exhausting tomorrow. Hard day. But, um, yeah, I, li I like it and um, I feel even more remote here than, than, I, than I felt in, uh, in Peru when I did the Santa Cruz trek. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to sleep now. I'm pretty tired now. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Good night. Very good morning. The night was uh, not comfy at all. <laughs> I couldn't get much sleep. It was bitter cold, uncomfortable. Um, yeah, but I survived. This morning was just beautiful. So now I think um, taking some more pictures and then preparing for a big hike today. I think it's going to be hard. I want to start as fast as possible. Make sure I have in the end of the day enough time to take photos there well then let's go Okay, let's go for this difficult hike. <laughs> Hope it's going well. Let's go.
that I was following a cow's path and was far off the right trail. I was hiking wrong for about an hour until I finally realized that I got lost. I don't know how this could have happened. I, I'm off the track, I think. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, where, I, where I am now, there is no, there is no trail anymore. I was following the tra the whole time and then I came here to the absolutely nothing. So uh, to keep my orientation I'm using now my phone and uh, to get back to on the, on the right trail I would have to pass these mountains without any trail here. So, oh hell, that's all an adventure right now. <laughs> that's so crazy. I'm a little worried, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just going for it, you know? Let's go. I am very sorry for my following expression. Maybe I should also mention that I'm here at 30,000 feet of heights. I'm trying my way there. I'm a little scared, to be honest. If something happens here, you know? I will not be even on the trail and could not even wait for some other hikers passing by and helping me. I literally, I, I think I will just die here. This is some sort of uh, overgrown uh, lake. If you look closely, see that's water. I almost fell in here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to make my way, way through here. I think there's no other way I have to go. F me. I have to be very careful sometimes. There are some big holes hidden under the grass. It's way more steeper than it looked like. Oh, this is going to kill me here. Let's go, man. This is some, this is some real f***ing hardcore shit, man. Oh, f*** me, man. Where the f*** am I? Oh, man, that's a nightmare. Lost in Cajas Mountains. Ah! Let's go. Am I mad? I mean, seriously, what do you mean that I, I am mad? Maybe mad in a good way. I hope after after there there is not another mountain. This will, this will, this will just me out, man. Wow! Look at this nice view. And I think I finally found the, uh, the trail again. 
if it's not an, just another cow's path, you know. But I guess, I'm not sure if you can see it there. This looks like the trail, not. But you know, it, it was just so hard and kind of frustrating. But yeah, I'm back on the trail. So now, I just go for it. I still have a long way to go. <laughs> so let's go. Who am I to say we tried our best? Who am I to say we kept ignoring all our promises? Who am I to say there's nothing left? Who am I to look down? Who am I to say you won the war? When all I did was fight so hard I forgot what I was fighting for Who am I to say those breaks? Really nice place for camping. Look at those paper trees. Wow. Yeah, as beautiful as this place is here, I can't believe that I'm saying this right now, but I think I'm going to stay here for camping. It's just because I'm not sure what to shoot here, you know. I came here, I make this trip mostly because of landscape photography. And uh, this place is indeed very beautiful and I would love to stay here. But in first place, I would like to stay in a place where I am where it's easier for me to, to shoot in the morning or in the afternoon for the sunset to shoot landscapes. So I think I'm just gonna keep walking further up. There is a lake and um, I hope I got some nice views from this lake there. Well, my idea to camp on this lake just flew away. As you see, I followed the, the, the trail and I'm so much higher than the lake. So it's forcing me to, to keep moving. Oh hell man, today is going to be a long walk.
This is it. That's the end of the trekking. I should I should be here tomorrow. But I did it today. Well. I mean, I made one bad decision and this was to leave this uh, absolutely beautiful campsite there. And um and yeah, and the conditions they 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 just forced me to, to go that far. So today I walked a lot. Today I walked I walked about eight hours. <sighs> yeah, I'm really exhausted. Look at my hands. Oh yeah, my hands look old. Well um I am staying here, I'm going to camp here on the end of the trekking because there is a, a viewpoint just there so I think um, at least I, I can uh, take some good pictures uh, from there, it would be nice so uh, yeah, well then, now I just need to chill man my feet are hurting <laughs> After such a hard day, if this is your payoff, you know that's that's just incredible. Look at this. Massive view. Actually, you can see exactly all what I walked from behind there. Oh, not even uh, there is when I when I uh, f uh, find back the track. Then all this came all this along here. Well, what a day, um, I had um, some really cool sunset, so that was good. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to sleep just next to the street. Um, not really comfortable, not really beautiful. It's really just there, the street is just there about 15 meters or something. Yeah. Tomorrow, well tomorrow is going to be the day for... Uh, for wake up very early. The sunrise would be so at quarter past six, so um, uh, 5.30. 5.30 I'm going to wake up. Now I'm going to sleep. I'm very tired. But yeah, in any case, just chilling because I, I don't want to go one step more. I'm not even ready for cooking. Just going to eat my crackers and stuff like this. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Well then, um, See you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Do you hear the cars? <laughs> well then, see you tomorrow at 5.30. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Good night. Okay, let's do this.
Oh guys, this look, doesn't look very pleasant to me. It's way, way too cloudy. Oh, so many stairs. Oh man. Not a really nice morning. I don't like the mood at, mood at all. It's like just grey. And in the other side it's, it's the same. But it, it's a nicer view without the street, you know. And yeah. It is okay that there is clouds, you know. I actually want that uh, that it's cloudy, but it should be a little less cloudy so the sun can shine through and color it red and uh, yeah but uh, it seems that this is not going to happen but it's still it's an awesome view and I'm uh, <laughs> I'm happy I did get up to to get up here but it's cold of course <laughs> okay let's go down this thousand stairs I think this was it this was it for me in the Cajas National Park. I'm going back to Cuenca. El Cajas National Park. This trekking was probably the coldest, wettest and most remote hike I have done. And it showed me the beauty of nature and its wildlife, even in difficult weather conditions. Satisfied with my captures and the experience I had, I was now on my way back to Peru.